Hi, I'm Julie Erd. I'm a digital artist living and working in London and I have done for the last 20 years. Art has always been a part of my life. Um, since a small child I've always had a pencil or doing something creative, whether it's collage or making nonsense in the garden or just always been part of what I am, who I am. I've always been a bit of a traditionalist. I've had traditional training, always from everything I do starts from drawing. So um, that's where I've started, evolved into painting. But now as I've discovered digital art, um, I think I might move into the moving image and I'd like to explore how I can transition to making films and flat image and how they come together. Technology at the moment is core to what I do. I use my phone, which is my pencil, my paintbrush, my medium to capture through photography, which sometimes is a starting point, or just purely using it as my digital sketchbook. I used to have little tiny sketchbooks that were always in my pocket, but now my phone has become my, my medium, my platform, my canvas. Um, and I was inspired to do that by going to a Hockney exhibition where he uses his iPad and his, his iPhone to draw with using an app, which is the one that I use, because it's very immediate, I can have it, everybody has their phone with them, I have my phone with me at all times, so it, my, my art is with me at all times. Colour is really important to what I do. I think what I do is very vibrant. I really love the interplay of contrasting colours and try to use the colour to bring things to life. It might not be naturalistic, but I think it's important that it has an impact and that it makes the images exciting and vibrant. And I think the application and the phone enables me to use colour in quite a crude way, but also subtly in other ways. So I can produce something that's exciting visually. I think what makes my work unique is the fact that it is produced on a phone this size. I can get the diversity of marks and the visual effects that I can produce is pretty extraordinary for something that is just produced with my finger. And it is also creates a piece of animation at the same time, which also is, makes it very interesting and, and unique, I think. Some of the work that I do is just sitting on the tube, anonymously drawing people, and I'm fascinated by why they're there, where they're going, what's happening in their lives, who are they with, what are they reading, and I like to talk myself through stories and scenarios about those people. Right now I'm in a very exciting time in my career. I've just been appointed as artist in residence for Crossrail. It happened by pure chance. I bumped into someone at a party who told me about the competition that was happening and said, your work sounds really interesting, would you like to apply? So I put a proposal together and was shortlisted and are now being appointed. I have a six month period to produce a piece of work which will be the legacy for what's happening currently. I get to go underground, meet the construction workers, I meet the architects, the tunnelers, the, everybody that makes the ha project happen, which is really exciting and something that I think we'll remember forever and not many people get this opportunity. So it's pretty extraordinary and frightening but really exciting. When people see my work I hope they're going to be excited, go wow, I'd like to be able to do that, I'd like to pick my phone up and do some drawing and, and I think everybody has a little bit of talent, they might not think they have but I, I'd like to think I could inspire them to, to look at the world a bit differently but also smile when they look at my work because it has a humorous quality to it, I think it's colourful, it's different and it's really of its time so I hope it makes people think a bit differently that you don't have to have a paintbrush, you don't have to have traditional tools, you can produce art in many different ways and your phone is a medium and a platform to, to create a piece of work that inspires and is, you want to hang on your wall.